Hello friends, welcome to the Power System Experts YouTube channel. Our today's lecture on power flow reports on area owner zone report. So let's start with this report on PSSE. Open PSSE. So when you open PSSE, just go to power open file and open and open any example file like sample save case file. So here you can see that the case is opened. Now go to in order to see the report, there are different button available in the toolbar section. But from here, go to power flow section and reports and select area owner zone total here. So here you can see that there are different options available in report area owner zone totals. So you, you can select any area in which you want to see the summary and the next options available in load induction machine assigned to area or connected area so depending upon the utility practices you can select and also the modeling practices because sometime load is connected to the area and sometime lo load is assigned with respect to the area so you can do this uh, based on your modeling practices but we are assuming load assigned to area here and then you can select the subsystem so we have checked all areas here so and then click on go so when you click on go so the report in the report progress report you can see that the summary is open so here that is given complete summary with respect to the assigned area so there are different areas so here you can see there are six areas central east central dc East cogen 1, West and East cogen 2 and the last row is total column. So the first column here shows that the, the generation that is from ge total ge from generation within in this area that and next is that any generation through the induction machine and also the to the induction motors. And then similarly the next column is to load so mean and also to shunt bus to generate generation bus and to line shunt from charging to losses and in net interchange between the tile and flow. So here is a very important thing to note that the, uh, the first row and each column shows the megawatt. So you can see that here the identifier so area total in here the first upper value show megawatt and the lower value shows the megawatt. So in, for example in central one region so you can see that the generation is 1400 megawatt and the reactive power here is 239.4 megawatt and similarly in each case and also the losses in this area 38.5 that is megawatt losses and the 519 is a megawatt loss so in this way you can see that all areas has a summary of generation load and losses and tile and flows so these tile and flows can be basically seen when you see any bus report so we will see in another lecture that how we can see that the mean that this tile and flows is distributed along on which transmission line. So up till now in this lecture you can see that so all the summary containing for with respect to each area you can see. Now here you can see that for total in total column so the maximum generation that is equal to load plus loss. So when load plus loss is added so definitely this will become A255 in megawatt and similarly the megawatt. So megawatt basically sometimes depends uh, depending upon the directions like positive and negative you can subtract and overall value will be this. But the megawatt will always will be summed up and you can get the complete summary in area owner zone section. So this is very important to basically first look at the PSS summary. So hope I think you have uh, understand this report so definitely in the next lecture we will see the limit checking report section of our PSS thanks